Today we are joined by some high schoolers from West Bloomfield High School, Kendall and Mariana. They are part of the Laker Update, which is a news show at the West Bloomfield High School. So guys, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Hi, thank you for having us. And so can you guys tell our audience a little bit about what the Laker Update is and what it is that you guys are a part of at West Bloomfield High School? Okay, so Laker Update is our student broadcast show. Um, so as a group of students, we all, there's a specific class where we all have our assigned different tasks, producer, director, cameraman, anchor, and uh, like a real world environment or a real job, we just go in and work together to film with it. And my job is um, I'm a reporter. I can also be a producer and uh, an anchor and uh, usually I am a stage manager, I direct, I produce, I can run cameras, and within the class we also make our own news stories. So we go around the school, find out what the students want to learn about, and we report on that. Yes. So some of those news stories we will be featuring on the splash here. So it's so nice to have you guys on and kind of highlight those things that you guys will be doing. Can you tell us a little bit about the couple of stories that you guys have done either this year or in the past years? Yeah, so what I've covered a lot is I talk about award shows and stuff that's going on in the entertainment industry. And so I go around and ask students just what their thoughts on performances were, uh, just different things going on within the entertainment world. And my one of my most impactful stories here in my four years in this class now, um, so they're, they're, West Bloomfield is a very diverse community. Um, the student body as well, we can see many different faces. So with that came um, that there were many different religions within the school. And I just decided to cover, I, I had a friend uh, tell me about how she, her Eid holiday, the Muslim holiday was, wasn't recognized by the school calendar. So um, I just went to go gather some information, like why, why find out how is this affecting uh, the Muslim community here at the high school. And then I, I set up an interview with Stacey Brickman, um, president of the school board. And she was very like willing, open to um, incorporate this in the, stu in the student calendar. And now by bringing awareness, um, it's now recognized as a school holiday for the entire district. So That's yeah, that amazing. was, yeah. And then as seniors, um, obviously we've had four years of having this class and this experience in high school. Can you guys tell us a little bit about how that has impacted you and going into school next year, if that's changed um, you know, the way that you think about broadcasting or if it's um, kind of expired you to be a broadcaster and go into journalism uh, in college? Yeah, totally. So before this, I wasn't really interested in doing anything in this realm. But then taking the class, having an amazing teacher that supports us, uh, really opened my eyes to different opportunities I can have. So I've learned a whole lot. And it's honestly one of the best experiences I've had throughout high school. For me, when I started off, I was, in, I was like, I don't think this is for me. I, I've never really been an arts person. I was like, why, why would I ever consider film or like you know, the broadcast industry? It's never really been an, a career path for me. And now here I am as a senior and I'm undecided because now I'm really considering this as a future career. This really interested me. Miss Williamson, she's a teacher here. She will go out of, during quarantine, she would, if you didn't have materials, she would, um, ship them right to your house. She went above and beyond to make sure like all her students would, were able to succeed, even if we were in a virtual environment. Mm -hmm. And and the, the, and now at the end of four years, um, it's kind of, it's sad because we, most of the crew has been together these entire four years. And it's a little sad to see everyone go, but it's been a very, it's a nice community and we've grown a lot together as a team. And then I, I don't know if you guys are working on any stories now um, or give us some update on what you guys are working on as a uh, film crew. 
Uh, so the other day we just wrapped up doing a family feud thing. So we sent the form out to the full school. We kind of put together a game show, so we wrapped that up. And we are now working on just a bunch of different stories. I'm working on one about how the schools are going to adapt to Michigan being a new hotspot for COVID and just covering our canned food drive. For me, um, I'm currently working on a PSA uh, about uh, student parking. Um, I don't know if you've seen the trend on TikTok where um, students create uh, uh, people who can't park account. So I'm making a little PSA to highlight why you should park correctly. And in the end, the mysterious WB can't park account is gonna make an appearance. Um, uh, but a recent news story where uh, me and my um, film partner, we're, we're highlighting um, unknown um, classes that can be taken at the high school um, and just bringing awareness to some classes that students might not have thought to take before. Well, so cool. I'm so jealous that I, I wish I had something like this when I was in high school. So thanks so much for joining us, Kendall and Mariana. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much for having us. Yeah, of course.